Pacquiao signed. He's ready to go. And Crawford did not sign. Welcome. It's another edition of Coffee with the Goose. You know, we talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and irritating. I'm the Goose. Glad you joined me for another show. Got some yeah, it's kind of disappointing, but uh, hey, that's uh, that's the name of the game with boxing. It's a, it's a big soap opera, and we'll give you the latest installment here. First, though, got to have our coffee. As you know, my coffee, very strong, like my opinion, and uh, I'm so sweet, I don't need the sweetener, but uh, a little bit helps, right? Got to have the coffee. Mm. All right, we're good to go. The pacquiao Terence Crawford fight will not happen. We were so excited about this. Wasn't just a few days ago we said, oh, the announcement's coming. Well, we were right, kind of. The announcement was coming. We got the announcement all right. It ain't going to happen. You know what? It's kind of a blessing. And I'll get into the details here as we uh, unfold the program again. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, Terrence Crawford, that looked like they were all set to fight uh, June 5th in uh, the United Arab Emirates, Abu Dhabi. And for one reason or another... Uh, things just fell apart. It appeared, now I may not be entirely clear with the numbers here, but it appeared Pacquiao was going to pull in 40 million bucks, and uh, which is standard fare for a Manny Pacquiao fight. Don't tell me he's greedy. That's, that's what he earns. That's what he gets. People are happy to, pin, uh, you know, pitch in money for a pay-per-view battle with Manny Pacquiao. That's, that's, he earns it. Uh, Terrence Crawford, meanwhile, was set to get about 10 million. Now that doesn't seem fair, but hey, it's, it's business. Why wasn't Crawford going to get as much? Well, we've said this many times. He's not a big draw. As good as he is as a fighter, and he's undefeated. He's a champion. I give him all the all the credit in the world. He's never been a big draw. And, uh, well, uh, as it turned out, the negotiations got hot and, uh, hot and heavy. Pacquiao signed. He's ready to go. And Crawford did not sign. And this is the same Crawford who said, remember, Pacquiao's running from me. He's afraid of me. He's ducking me. Who's ducking who, Terrence Crawford? I don't know what happened behind the scenes, but that's what it looks like, right? Uh, at that point, the investors, uh, the Saudi investors just backed out. They, uh, it's, it's not going to happen. Um, so it's all on Terrence Crawford. You know, I don't want to hear him or you, any of you guys who like to rip Pacquiao, he ducks. Pat, you and I, we all know Pacquiao's never ducked anybody. Okay. And this is the, uh, the same, same song, different story or channel or whatever. Uh, Pacquiao doesn't duck. And Terrence Crawford, the undefeated champion, uh, who said Pacquiao was afraid of him. He did not sign after Pacquiao already agreed to the fight. So there you go. Not going to happen. Uh, and, uh, you know, wish all, uh, uh, all the luck in the world to Terrence Crawford. He's a good guy. Uh, and, you know, I was going to get into this, uh, after they made the announcement, you know, little by little, we're going to dissect the two fighters and their, their skills and their weaknesses and, and eventually make a prediction on who was going to win the fight. But I can't resist now telling you, uh, and I was all ready to, to do this anyhow, but I'll, I'll just uh, unveil it now. Pacquiao was going to beat him. There was no question Pacquiao was going to beat him. And I'll tell you why. Uh, Terrence Crawford, as skilled as he is, fights with both sides, you know, orthodox and left-handed. As it turns out, Crawford starts out orthodox because he is a right-hander. Then when he gets in trouble, when he gets challenged, then he switches to southpaw. Why does he do that? He keeps his strong hand, his right hand, out in front with the jab to keep you at bay and keeps his distance. He has a reach advantage. And then he does the old Floyd Mayweather routine. He dances. He dances. He jabs. He grabs you when he has to. But that's Terrence Crawford's style. If you're not up to his uh, skill level, then he's going to go in for the kill with the orthodox manner. Uh, his last fight was a great example of uh, of that when he uh, defeated Kell Brook. And I mentioned this before. It was a KO, but it was you could tell there's something uh, left a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, you know, Kell Brook was a champion, was a great fighter at one point. He's not. 
uh, and great. He's lost his skill. He's he's not what he used to be. He's a shell of his former self. But at the same time, he was winning that fight, in my opinion. You, know, you watch it again, the first three rounds, he was winning the fight. And then he gassed out. And then uh, Crawford landed no more than seven yeah. punches, maybe eight, and knocked him down, kind of. And, uh, you know, Kel Brook wasn't really even hurt, and the referee waved it off. TKO, fourth round. And I went, oh, come on. This is time. What a joke, you know? Uh, yes, Crawford was going to beat him, but eh, it ended, you know, in a very uh, unseemly manner, you know? And you look back at other fights, the Kabaluskis fight, for example. He was beating Crawford. And uh, for whatever reason, he and he knocked him down. For whatever reason, midway through the fight, he kind of gassed. He he was winded, and uh, Crawford defeated him. And uh, you look back at Crawford's history. I can't remember who the other guy was that was beating him handily, but he was really a lightweight, and Crawford was too too big and too strong, and ended up overpowering him. So uh, you know, Crawford, as good as he is, is not at the level that Pacquiao is. You know, it just. If you're a champion, that's great. All the credit in the world. Like I said, I respect Terrence Crawford and his skill level and his accomplishments. Um, but when you look at his resume, who has he fought, at least at the welterweight uh, level, he hasn't really fought anybody that good. Um, uh, uh, Errol Spence Jr., meanwhile, has fought all the big dogs. Um, speaking of uh, Spence, it, that may be Pacquiao's next opponent. But Spence has called out uh, Terrence Crawford. And Crawford wouldn't fight him. Sean Porter has called him. Sean Porter will fight anybody. <laughs> There's a rough character. And Crawford wants no no part of that action, that's for sure. So, uh, you know, Terrence Crawford, he's not a not a fighter, not at that level that Craw that uh, uh, Pacquiao's at, definitely, and, and definitely not Spence, maybe even not uh, Sean Porter's level. When you're running... And uh, we've said this before, and I'd hate to pick on Floyd Mayweather. If, if, if you score a fight the way they used to score fights and the way they should score fights, the aggressor, the one who initiates the action, should be getting the points at the end of each round. Proper, uh, you know, that Pacquiao Mayweather fight, Floyd did not school him, didn't make him look bad, and Pacquiao was a one armed fighter uh, from the, uh, what was it, the fourth or the seventh round on. And skill still won four of the rounds. But when you look at uh, who's the aggressor, who's initiating the action, who's the pursuer, they should get the points. Pacquiao should have got the points. Uh, okay, I'm not going to get in, I'm not going to dissect and whine about the Mayweather fight. That's that's a done deal. But but that's what Crawford's like. He's like Floyd Mayweather. Running ain't fighting. It ain't. Yeah, it looks great, you know. But we're not out there uh, scoring you, uh, you know, like uh, gymnastics. You know, it's it's fighting. Come on, you got to you got to put up your dukes and and go at it eventually. And uh, Terence Crawford is not that kind of guy. And again, uh, anybody who follows the game knows this, just like you and I know. He's just not a big draw because he hasn't fought anybody of any significance, at least at the welterweight level. So. That's done and gone. Uh, Floyd, uh, Floyd's still in my mind. Sorry about that. That's uh, <laughs> I swear there. Oh, oh, well, here's a reason I'll mention Floyd again. I saw an interview with uh, Terrence Crawford in which he laughed off a potential fight with Pacquiao. <laughs> That's no problem. Uh, the uh, interviewer said, well, what about uh, your style is kind of like Floyd Mayweather and Mayweather Never, he was criticized for never fighting anybody in their prime when he should have fought them, even though he's undefeated. And Crawford said, well, yeah, that's, that's smart. He's a smart fighter. He does what he, he needs to do to win and to go undefeated. So apparently, um, being undefeated, as great as that is, we admire that. That's really all that uh, Terrence Crawford is uh, concerned with. Other fighters who have pride, number one, and care about respect the game, number two, respect the fans, number three, being undefeated is not the end-all, be-all. It's fighting the best and beating the best. And if you lose once in a while, hey, that's part of the game. Pacquiao's lost a few times. Yeah, he has. Has he lost his killer instinct? Has he lost his skill? 
Has he lost his um, his power? Not really. And he's 42. And now we see Terrence Crawford deciding, yeah, I don't, uh, no thanks. You're a smart guy, Terrence Crawford, because Pacquiao would have chased you down and made you look bad, and you would have lost for the first time. So there you go. We're going to talk more about uh, Pacquiao's next fight. And again, it looks like it's going to be Terrence Crawford. We'll get more into that uh, in our next show. Uh, again, not going to happen. Oh, well, that's uh, that's the way the, uh, the ball rolls, right? Uh, no Crawford-Pacquiao fight, but you know what? In the end, that's probably a good thing. Uh, love to get your uh, opinion. Love to read your notes, your comments. Let me know what you think. And I think most of you who... And you guys know your game. You know fighting. Uh, I think most of you agree that, you know, I don't want to see Pacquiao run a guy, uh, chase a guy who's running for his life. That's not worth, uh, that's not worth a pay-per-view uh, about, you know? So, but a Terrence, uh, a, uh, uh, Errol Spence Jr. fight, that'll be a fight. More on that in our next show. That's it for this edition of Coffee with the Goose. Thank you guys so much for watching, and many thanks to all you subscribers. Uh, the number keeps growing, and uh, we got more great shows to come. All right, you guys take care.